Unsurprisingly, the Russia-Ukraine conflict dominated the talks between EU Vice President Joseph Borrell and South Africa's Minister of International Relations and Cooperation Dr. Naledi Pando. The EU and many countries in the Northern Hemisphere have been lobbying hard for countries around the world to condemn the Kremlin for invading Ukraine. What is at stake is the survival of the multilateralism. And the European Union regards South Africa as an important partner to uphold and to reinvigorate a rules-based international order. This is why I very much hope that South Africa, our strategic partner, will use its good relations with Russia and the role it plays in the BRICS group to convince Russia to stop this senseless war. South Africa reaffirmed its stance on the Russia-Ukraine conflict. We should work together toward seeking a negotiated process and an outcome that is addressing the concerns of all the parties involved in the conflict. This is what I'm proposing. I'm not blaming this one or blaming that one, but I'm saying let's find a way of working for an outcome because only looking at uh, the fact that we have a conflict is not enough to save lives and stop this war. And then there was the thorny issue of the upcoming military drills by Russia, South Africa and China. Every country has the, the right to develop its foreign policy according with its own interest. In other moments of the time, there were drills with other fleets. And uh, I understand the desire of certain countries, including South Africa, to spare Russia for one reason or another. Uh, and I cannot, uh, I cannot be against any activity. We had military exercises with the United States and France last year, and this question was not asked. South Africa and the European Union are working together on the Just Energy Transition Program. We are supporting South Africa in implementing the South Africa vision to shift to a greener and cleaner energy. We are working together towards implementation of the Just Energy Transition Partnership. And my colleagues, commissioners, has made put the accent on the fact that the energy transition will be just or will not happen. We've tabled this matter to our partners and pointed out to them the hazards to us of some of the concessional loan conditionalities and how these don't address uh, the wide gap uh, uh, that exists in uh, potential funding for the program uh, specifications of the Just Energy Transition uh, Investment uh, Plan. Meanwhile, the two leaders say South Africa's Just Energy Transition Plan is on track and Minister Ponder used the opportunity to allay fears about the use of coal in the country, saying it still does have a role to play, especially since some of the power stations are using it to keep the lights on. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.